The movie opens up with showing a girl named Giselle who enters a store while the store's attendant is asking what she wants. Someone calls him while he is talking on phones. Suddenly the attendant asks her to choose truth or dare in a demonic voice when she says she doesn't want to play anymore. He hardly insists. Then Giselle picks up the oil can and pours it on a woman nearby and lights her up in the next scene. We see a girl named Olivia while she is working on her YouTube channel. Her best friend Mary comes to her and asks if she is coming for spring break. When Olivia says she can't come, Mary tries to convince her saying this is their last spring break and they will go apart after this year while they are discussing their friends Penelope and Tyson comes to them to convince her on coming for the spring break. Olivia finally agrees to go with them the next day. Olivia along with her friends goes to the trip. They all go to Mexico to spend their vacation on the last night of the trip there at a beach party having fun while Olivia is talking with Lucas. She sees Mary as going at it with some random guy and pulls her away. She takes Mary to Lucas and goes to get a drink where she meets one of the guys from her college Ronnie. He asks Olivia if she wants to make out. Then a man who is sitting nearby interrupts their conversation by noticing Olivia feeling uncomfortable with Ronnie. Ronnie tries to pick a fight with that man but Olivia comes and stops them. Then the man introduces himself as Carter and he offers her a drink. Olivia gladly accepts the drink and they chat for a while until the party is over. Then her friends comes to Olivia searching for her while they are about to leave to their hotel. Carter invites them to go to some place interesting when everyone else hesitates. Olivia convinces them all saying they should do something interesting on their last spring break. Carter takes everyone to an old abandoned church while going in. Olivia finds a broken pot with something rotten inside. Then someone approaches from behind. When she looks around it's Ronnie. Then they all stops at a room and Carter suggests suggests they should play something while everyone is thinking something. He says they should play truth or dare. But the others debunks the idea. Then Carter convinces them saying it can be a pretty interesting game. If you play it in the right way then they all sit around to play the game and Olivia gets the first turn. Brad asks her if aliens were to kill her friends or the whole country who will she choose to? which Olivia says she chooses her friends to be killed by aliens. Then on Ronnie's turn when he chooses Dare he was asked by Penelope to give Tyson a lap dance. After that in Lucas's turn Mary makes him run naked. Then in Mary's turn Tyson asks her if she know that Olivia is in love with her boyfriend. Olivia shuts him up saying to stop talking trash. Then at Tyson's turn Olivia asks him to stop giving the freshman forged prescriptions. Then in Penelope's turn Ronnie asks her to kiss Olivia. And finally at Carter's turn Penelope asks him what his intentions are over. Olivia Carter then tells that he met Olivia just to make her play the game and he is okay with strangers dying. Olivia asks him what he means while he is trying to leave. Carter tells her to keep playing on the game. He tells they die. If they don't tell the truth or do the dare they were given and says it will keep following them no matter where they go. He then leaves the place. Everyone thinks Carter is crazy and disappointed cause the last night of the trip went out like this and Mary accuses Olivia for all this and they all leave the place next day. At school, Olivia goes into the class and sees truth or dare written on bench while sitting. When she looks around, she sees Ronnie but doesn't care about it. Later when she gets to home she finds one of the posters she is holding has truth or dare written on it. But she thinks someone playing pranks on her later while she is checking her mails. Mary gets to Olivia and apologizes for the last night. Then Olivia tells that she doesn't have any feelings for Lucas and says he is like a brother to her. Then they both assures that they will be friends for life and they have drink over the chat next day while getting to the car. Olivia sees truth or dare. Scrapped on her car when she sees Ronnie around she says that he is going overboard with his pranks but Ronnie tells that there is nothing written on her car. Then Olivia goes to get Mary to the library. After getting to the library she sees everyone as possessed by something and asking her to pick truth or dare when she picks truth. They ask her to expose her friend's dark secret. Then Olivia shouts out that Mary is constantly cheating on Lucas and everyone hears it after hearing this Lucas gets up and goes out of there. Olivia tries to explain Marky while she is leaving but Mary says she will break her hand if she touches her again. Later Ronnie is at a club and he sees a girl while playing pool. He asks her if she wants to make out while the girl is leaving something possess her and asks him to pick truth or dare and he picks dare. She challenges him to show his gun to everyone. He gets on the board and calls out everyone but he refuses to do it. Then he was possessed by the demon and it makes him trip by stepping on a ball and he dies by breaking his neck later at the house.
Olivia tries to explain everyone what she saw earlier in the library but everyone laughs over it, then May receives a video of Ronnie from the bar and everyone is scared to see this later. While Lucas is walking on the road he hears something and looks around to see nothing. Then he sees a graffiti of Truth or Dare on the wall and thinks it's a prank. Suddenly he feels a itch on his hands and sees Truth or Dare scrapped on his hand. He calls Olivia and she tells him to do what it says. Lucas chooses truth and confesses his feelings for Olivia later. They all meet up at the house when Mary comes there. Olivia and Lucas tries to convince her that the game is real but Mary doesn't believe them. Then she gets a text from an unknown number when she picks there it asks her to break Olivia's hand. Olivia forces Mary to break her hand or she will die when Mary hesitates to do it. Olivia talks bad about her father and Mary breaks her hand and leaves to her room and everyone leaves the place. Brad and Lucas takes her to the hospital. While at the hospital, Brad's father approaches him and asks him to tell the truth and he do so. He returns back to his friends and tells that he completed his turn while Tyson is at a med school interview. His friends tries to contact him, saying the game is real but he keeps ignoring them. Then he was called in for the interview. They all comes to Tyson and sees him leaving the room. Then the interviewer calls him back to pick up his bag. She then locks the door and asks him to pick when he picks truth. She asks since how long is he selling forge prescriptions? And Tyson says he doesn't do it. Then the demon possess him and make him stab with his pen in the eye and kills him that night. Penelope is breathing over the death of Tyson and drinking. Lucas tells them to pick the truth when it asks so they can be honest and survive the game. After putting Penelope to sleep, they all go through the internet and finds the video of Giselle burning a woman. They finds her face ID and Mary warns her to meet them or they will wait at her house until the demon tells them to pick a dare on her family later Penelope wakes and while washing her face she sees the demon in the mirror. When she picks truth the demon wouldn't let her when they go outside. They see Penelope is on the roof. She tells it didn't let her pick the truth and her dare is to finish the bottle while walking over the roof sedge. Lucas gets to the top but Penelope stops him saying she can't cheat Mary and Brad brings out the bed and follows her while she is doing the dare. They stop at a gate and we tries to put the bed on. If the bed dears off, Olivia brings the car and runs into the gate. After completing the dare she falls down. But they throws the bed onto car and catches her in time. Then they gets a message from Giselle and they went off to a place to meet up. Giselle comes to there to meet them and she tells them about how it all started. She tells them she doesn't know how to stop it when they ask her when they ask. Why it wouldn't let Penelope pick truths. She tells they are playing the game as two truths in one dare and also tells Carter pick them thinking if they get a new group to play they will be out but it just only increased the number of players when they ask her what she picked. She points a gun at Olivia and tells her sorry when she shoots. Penelope jumps in the middle and gets shot. Lucas and Brad pins are down but she gets killed by the demon. Later they were taken to police station in Olivia as being interrogated by the cops. She calls Giselle neurotic and says she shot Penelope and shot herself and also says they met her thinking she might know someone. They met her in Mexico when he asked why they met her. The detective shows her some pictures and tells they are all dead since a trip in Mexico and asks her to tell him what is happening. But Olivia says she doesn't know anything. Then they all leave the place and Brad goes to meet his father while at the house they are trying to find some information. Then Olivia goes in to get the charger. Then Lucas Mary finds an article about the massacre happened in the mission and finds out that only one of them has survived while Olivia is looking around. Someone breaks into the house and forces her to pick Lucas and Mary gets to the room and Lucas chases the man outside. Then Mary asks what it asked her. She tells that it dared her to sleep with Lucas. Mary gets frustrated hearing this and asks why she didn't pick truth. Olivia tells if she picks truth then one of them has to do the dare. Mary gets frustrated hearing this and leaves the house after Mary left. Lucas asks Olivia what happened and she starts to kiss him when he asks why she didn't pick truth. She says she told Mary she picked a cause not either of them have to, but the reason is there is something she can't tell to Mary. And then they started making out while on the bed the demon possessed Olivia and asks Lucas who he is truly in love with. Lucas says he cares about her but he loves Mary and Olivia leaves the room later while Mary is sitting alone and looking at her phone she gets the chance and picks the truth later. Lucas finds out about the survived women's address from the mission and they goes there they go to the place and Reyes's granddaughter opens the door and Olivia tells they wants to meet Reyes while she is closing the door. Olivia says her what is happening and tells that they just need some answers later. They meet with Reyes. She can't talk so she writes on the paper. She says that the pre 
priest at their mission used to force the girls for his pleasure and they couldn't bear it anymore. And one of them summoned the demon named Callie to punish the priest one night Calix possessed a victim of the priest and she killed him and hide his parts in the mission at different places. Then she writes some spell in Spanish and gives it to them saying they have to repeat it seven times and seal the demon in a pot. Then Olivia shows Lucas the broken pot she found at the mission. Then Reyes tells them the one who broke it has to make a sacrifice to seal it and tells them that they have to sacrifice their tongue to seal the demon. Later they get back and Brad translates the message and they remember that someone named Sam is the one who trashed the place and released the demon while they are trying to find Sam on Giselle's Facebook. Brad's father comes there and he calls out Brad to talk. Brad's father asks him what is happening with their friends and says that he wants to know the truth while they are talking Brad gets the chance to pick and he gets a dare to steal his father gun and make him beg for his life Brad hugs him in an attempt to steal his gun and tries to make him beg for his life Mary calls Olivia and tells she shows that truth when they look out of the window they see Brad is holding the gun at his father and they rushes out while Brad is trying to make his father beg for his life. He gets shot by his fellow cop and he falls down. Later Mary meets up with Olivia and Lucas at the police station. Then Olivia gets her chance and when she picks there she was asked to tell Mary the secret she feared the most and then she starts to tell what happened on the night when Mary's father died. Olivia went to her house after having a fight with her family. After getting there she couldn't find Mary but stayed there and had a drink with her father. Then he kissed her and started to force himself on her after getting free from him. She threatens him that she will tell everything to Mary but he begged her not to and said he will die if Mary finds out about this. And Olivia, 